Hi everyone, my name is Tasha Shu and I am a speaker, author, and resilience expert. I've been in a wheelchair since the age of 16 when I was in a theater accident that left me paralyzed from the chest down. However, nothing has stopped me from living a rich and fulfilling life. I travel around the country speaking to mostly middle and high school students about mental and emotional health and teaching them how to be resilient in their own lives. I also speak to adult audiences and do virtual engagements too. I've put together this vlog to show you what it's like to go on a date night with my husband, Doug. We work really hard to make sure our busy schedule always includes a date night at least once a week, especially in the summer months when it's nice out. We love going out to eat and trying new restaurants. Enjoy! So before Doug and I go on any date nights, we always have to make sure that the places that we're going to are accessible, wheelchair accessible, no steps, and can get around. So Yes, I'm wondering, as you were uh, building wheelchair accessible? I'm gonna say no, because we have stairs to our Okay, and do you have a back entrance at all that's accessible? No. Okay, all right, thank you for your help. Yeah, yeah you too, bye-bye. Not that place. Um, yes, I'm wondering, is your building wheelchair accessible? Um, I believe so. The, there's like a little step to get into the front door. Um, otherwise, it's all wheelchair accessible. But there, but there is a step in, because I'm in a power wheelchair, so I couldn't do a step. Oh, sorry. Yeah, that's the only thing that's just getting in, yeah. Okay. Okay, well, thanks for your help. No, that's okay. Alright, thank you. Have a good yep, day. Yep, you too. Bye-bye. Bye. Lots of people do not know what wheelchair accessibility is. Oops. Um, yes, I'm wondering, is your restaurant wheelchair accessible? Uh, yes, it is. We do not have any steps on our front door or back door. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Oh, you know what? I lied. We do have uh, steps on our back patio, but Okay, all right. Well, I really appreciate that. We'll be in it a little bit. Okay, see you soon. Thanks, bye-bye. Bye now. And that's how it's done. We're very excited for a fun date night tonight. It's gonna be fun. All right. Can't forget the Tino. I always have to bring that with. And he also takes my headrest off. I don't, like, I don't like to bring that in. Couldn't get in here. As you can see, date night as a wheelchair user looks just a little bit different. We can't be quite as spontaneous as we need to make sure the places we are going are wheelchair accessible. Once in a while, we find ourselves at places that say they're accessible, but in reality, they're not. Either there's a step up or the turn is too tight to get in the door. And sometimes the front of a building isn't accessible, but the back is. So we've been able to get into some buildings through a back door. You also saw in the video how I need to adjust my power wheelchair to fit under the restaurant table. 
If that's not possible, I will pull up to the table right next to it because tilting all the way down as a regular, at a regular height table is not as comfortable for me. We also run into this when we sit at patio tables. That's when I'll just sit to the side of the table. The most important thing that I want people to know is that accessibility is really important. It can be frustrating when we try to have a date night, but our options are limited. This particular date worked out really well because by the third phone call, I found a place that we could go and we had a great time. Thanks so much for listening.